Yeah, that's the car I'm babysitting for a while. That. <laughs> Anyway, I guess um, Trump did his State of the Union uh, um, speech. Uh, I'll be honest with you, I did not listen to it. Um, I thought I would just, I normally would just listen to a little bit of these type of speeches. I find them more informative just to read tomorrow what, you know, what they have in mind, policies, or whatever they're going to do in the future. From what I gather, he's not doing, I don't hear him really saying he's doing anything um, that's productive. But, um, you know, I'm afraid that now that uh, they had, like, repealed that neutrology thing with the computers, you know, like, I think before the big thing that they were doing was mostly spying on American citizens um, a lot. I think that's what that, um, I think of his name, um, the guy that went to Russia. Um, anyway, um, the whistleblower or whatever you want to call him, um, not as smart as he, I, I think he thinks. But they they weren't really looking at the outside. They're not. They're, they're mostly just looking at black people or Mexicans or something. They're not looking at the the the, the, um, the all right, the Ku Klux Klan or the the other races, the groups that we have seen in the past shoot up churches, um, shoot up places. Um, we hadn't had them speak on, you know, the Caucasian young males that have been shooting up the schools, um, or, you know, or, or the ones that are, you know, shooting off of um, buildings, um, or they are organized, you know, and they all been on the internet, so are they an organized white supremacist terrorist group? And I, I think we have to say, yeah. Is the FBI going to be investigating them? No. Um, or, you know, um, and those are the type of people that are very easily used and manipulated by a lot of Russia propaganda uh, uh, um, to, to undermine the Constitution. Uh, our school system do such a poor job that... Uh, we don't even um, understand our constitution. I think, you know, really, like in the third grade, it, there should be um, some constitutional uh, laws and stuff like that taught to the kids, you know. Um, um, probably starting in the second grade and continue, but just so that we could understand our basic rights or constitutional rights and so we could keep America going down the path that our forefathers saw, you know, uh, they have a warped sense of, uh, 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 vision of it. I, you know, like where they see like, oh, when they opened up Oklahoma to the white people, they see that as a good thing. I see that as a time where the white man was killing people, open up, you know, like open, remember open Oklahoma territory and they just drove in there. I'm, I'm saying maybe there were still people living in some of those places and they just killed and slaughtered and what they didn't kill and slaughter. They took out the South Dakota and um, put a reservation and took their kids away and beat and raped them, basically. I mean, it was the church that was educating. And, um, and you know, and, and like you could only imagine that since the white Europeans didn't bathe and really, you know, was busy, you know, having war after war, sort of like what we've been having now one continuous war with a different name on it, you know, um, you know, it's been Korea, it's been Vietnam, it's been the Bay of Pigs, it's, it's been this war, that war, you know, one continuous war, um, and there's always, uh, the bottom line is, uh, has to do with, uh, greed, uh, but anyway, it's just been one war, that, that's just an excuse.
Because you can be greedy and don't have to go to war. So, but, um, so, you know, I guess by now, like, uh, looking for white racists, uh, like, uh, Trump, like Pence, and like numerous other Republicans that have been, uh, showing the racist, you know, ways by being so biased, you know, like, they, they're coming off of like a bunch of racist pedophile, uh, uh, um, narcissistic nipples. Um, very sick. Um, very corrupt. And uh, but they justify everything either, like right? they justify it because of the church. But they they have justification for the evil, like Paul Ryan. You know, he, he, you know, and they 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 um. You know, they just can't hop over to the um, the reality, you know, but but the money keeps them motivated, you know. You know, they're making money uh, by um, their narcissistic uh, um, anti-human, you know, sort of uh, an, an anti-really constitution because... You know, it, it's so you can see the results of their actions is it's what really speaks and and where does the money go? It's just like um like with the union with that Hoffman guy. Um and one of the reasons why one of the rumors they said they they had to kill him or eliminate him or get him out of out of the situation because unions was it was good at first. And then they was able to be used by communists uh, as a tool to destroy America's uh, finances to suck money out. So that's when a lot of business went overseas. Cause like, um, you know, and 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 they used white people. You know, they were like, yeah, we need more money. We know when they especially when they saw black people, that was you know sort of organ was part of helping with the organizing of the union in Detroit and all that, it, it, they got a fair living way, you know, and was able to, to buy the cars that they made, you know, maybe not the first year, but, you know, they were able to buy the stuff that they, they made and get homes and stuff. Um, um, and and um, pay off bills and continue to you know, be consumers, and, and this this made white folks very nervous and uncomfortable. Cause like what like I was alluding to, you know, with the Oklahoma rush, you know, they they were these people that came out of the cities, they came out of the European prisons, uh, the, uh, the European gutters. Um, a lot of them were very, you know, um, disconnected, like a lot of of Americans are with. Um, farming and, 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 you know, and it's funny because, like, they show these pictures, like, when they show them, like, oh, it's the dust bowl, and, um, and they're just standing around. Cause you can imagine, you know, they, they, they went in there and, like, they destroy wilderness because they're going to um, tame the wilderness. So, basically, it's just, you know, killing everything, you know, the, the buffalo, the antelope, the deer, just, you know, totally just killing it. Uh, everything and the people, just every living thing, mammal, just killing it. And there was like already tall grass and everything and weed or whatnot that the buffalo chose to eat there. So, and they have their own way of rotating um, their crops, and putting them in different areas, different, you know, um, growing stuff in one season in one location. And, next season, rotate at another location and, you know, and still have something else growing. They always have something growing, but, they, you know, they naturally rotate it, irrigate it, but they use um, nature. There's even some stories where they already understood how to use solar energy for lights and, um, you know, they just understood the sun. They worship the sun. They understood the energy and the power of the sun, of the water. 
and stuff like that. So like, so anyway, um, so like so the white men, they come in there, they're killing everything and um, take all the natives that they didn't kill, take them up to, you know, put them up to North Dakota, South Dakota, somewhere. And um, the whites go in there and um, the, the last, you know, their last rush, they just stump, you know, down, you know, with their wagons and coming in there with their horses and on foot and whatnot, and, you know, um, you know, having mules drag stuff behind them. So, you know, they just killed the rest of like their new, what they, you know, what they will be eating, um, come, you know, harvest when, for this stuff. But so they didn't have anything. It was just dust. That's all they had. It was dust. Because they didn't have no clue on they're sitting around like like, oh well. <laughs> it, it was funny because there was one story where like I guess the military was coming through there. Um um it was when the like the British territory or whatever, you know, they come in through there. By the time they get there, their red coats are not red. <laughs> They're not to get one set of clothes. So anyway, and that's one thing they didn't want them to get native clothes either. But anyway, um, they came through there, and like every homestead that they went past, they saw the women's at the door. And it's funny because like um, the guy was saying that they were standing like they did in the doorways, in the European like um like uh, the prostitution area, you know, and like a lot of women, they just shoved their kid out to them, you know, they got their kids there, you know, they, you know, they, they, the clothes they stole from the Indians are now all tattered and torn, you know, they, they hadn't, you know, they don't know how to grow cotton, they don't, and, and, and harvest it, and then anyway, the guy was saying, now today, that's why we have modified, um, Food, modified corn and everything, GMOs, because of um, um, they destroy the you know the people and along with them the knowledge you know on how to really uh, maintain uh, food, um, you know. And, Anyway, so I see that, you know, with Trump and Republicans, their idea is very self-destructive from their ideas from, like, war, like, oh, we got a new, you know, like, like that they're using that to scare somebody. Yeah. I mean, they're so, they, they, never mind, they're what you call compromised, they're, we're fucked.